Hey my lovely Scorpios, how you doing? I'm here. Yeah, because I remember last week <coughs> somebody told me Pisces was not up, was not up there, and I went and I checked. And yeah, it disappeared from YouTube. I don't know if it was a YouTube mistake or what it was, but it was uploaded. And then somebody else came and said Scorpio wasn't there. When I looked, I saw I didn't see Scorpio or Pisces. So yeah, I came back to do Scorpio and Pisces, but you know, my ancestor and the true one, I'm gonna do all the readings. So here they are. And let's start and see what's up with Scorpio. And my apologies for last week. It was not my fault. I uploaded it. I had everything with it. And YouTube, it just disappeared. I don't know where it went. You know, and I always clear my phone up so I couldn't even um, get it back. So my apologies. It was maybe for a reason. You never know. Things happen for a reason sometimes. Hold on. I'm just trying to fix this because... So I hope everybody's doing good. And let's see what's happening with Scorpio now. <coughs> okay, let's see what's up with Scorpio. Mm. Okay, so what is the overall energy between Scorpio and their person, please? Okay. What else for Scorpio things? And their person. Scorpio, you have a lot of burdens in your back, a lot of baggage you're carrying around, a lot of emotions, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of like, um, confusion. And I feel like this confusion is coming from, it could be your work, it could be your job, but I feel like it's mostly your home. And I feel like um, you've been trying to struggle and struggle and struggle <clears throat> to get out of a situation and you're just stuck. You don't know what to do. Like with the Palace of Swords, it's like there's chaos in a household. But I feel like you're so depressed, so sad, so confused, so hurt. You know, you don't know what to, which way to go. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to feel anymore. You don't know what to say. You don't even know what to answer back. You don't know how to move forward. You don't even know if to move backwards. I feel like you're in so much mental um, distress that is causing you a lot of problems internally and mentally and like spiritually. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say, like, you know, mentally in that type of way. But I feel like, for the most part, like, you've been struggling and struggling and struggling to get out of a situation that might be happening in your home, okay? And I feel like it has to do a lot with um, financial issues, even with your person. I feel like this person broke loyalty and honesty and trust, is what I'm picking up here. And I feel like this person uh, did something in your home and it's caused you a lot of pain. I feel like you're carrying everybody's burdens on you. I feel like no matter what you do, what you try, or what you put your focus on, it's like you're carrying such a big load on your back. It's just like you're ready to give up. You feel me? And, you know, you can't do that. You can't give up. You have to keep moving. Okay? 
no matter what's going on here, you, you just have to know that <clears throat> your spiritual guides, you know, whatever you believe in, it doesn't matter. Your spiritual guides, your deities, God, you know, the universe, you know, Mother Earth, everything, you know, you can get out of this. You feel me? Like, the only thing we cannot get out of is death. Because we're all going to the same place. And it's not even death. We're just going to this. We're just going home, you know? But for the most part, like, I see so much burdens and so much pain and so much heartbreak. It's like, it's really, really, really sad. And I feel like you're so sad that it's like you're ready to give up. You're just ready to, like, let everything go and just move forward and not do anything. And you can't do that. You have to fight your way. Whatever you're going through, you have to fight your way through that. Because you will not see light until you know what darkness is. Okay? There has to be darkness so you can appreciate the light. Okay? So let me see what's going on because she's telling me some other things. But, I, you know, I always give the cards a chance and everything. But let's see. What else is going on here with Scorpio, please? I'm your person. Something you were trying to accomplish or something you're trying to accomplish or maybe in the future accomplish. It's, it's stopping. Like something happened here. <clears throat> you're trying to move forward to do something or we're trying or are going to try. And everything, something is stopping it. Like, everything is stopping it. Even in your love life. Like, everything. Your love life, your finances, your home, your stability, your thinking, your mental state, your movement. You know, everything, for some reason, is stopping. And I feel like it's because of everything going on around you. But I feel like, um, I don't know, somebody might have, like, um... It said there's so much... Oh, my God. Let me just give it a chance before I talk. Hold on. What else for um, Scorpio and the person here, please? Listen. She's telling me you're severing... Oh, my God. Jesus. Knight of Coins. You're coming like the Knight of Coins, okay? Money's moving slow for you. But it's coming. But I feel like something was coming financially or something you're trying to build or something that you were trying to um, get together. And for some reason it stopped. Okay. But my ancestor in the back is saying it. And I don't want you guys to take it in the wrong way because we all go through this. But she's telling me you're serving some type of karma. Okay. It could be from your past life. It could be from the past we all serve it. Trust me and believe I've served enough. And I think I'm going to serve more. So I know I am going to reincarnate. Because I haven't finished this lifetime. So some type of karma is happening here for you. It might have been in the past. Or in a past life. Okay. And it's hitting you now. So you have to try to go in. Side your soul. And your higher self. Talk to your higher self. Connect with your higher self. Connect with your guides. Connect with whatever it is that you believe in. And try to work with your higher self. Try to forgive. Whatever happened in the past. Apologize for whatever you've done. In this world and in the world before this. Okay? Because it's like you're going through something because something happened. Okay, I'm not saying that you're a bad person or that this should be happening to you, but it's just what she's telling me. Some type of karma is coming in here for something that happened in the past. So it could be a past life or in the past, okay? But I'm seeing that this person that's with you, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Every time I light up the um, carbon, it's like, that's it. My throat goes and everything goes. <clears throat> but I feel like, for the most part, this person you're dealing with or this person that you were dealing with was giving you a lot of burdens, okay? 
And that might have been your karma. If you remove this person, everything's going to start getting better. Now, if you're still with this person, you need to be careful with this person. Because this person, I feel like they're trying to break walls down, but they're trying to break your walls down. Okay? To get to what they want. You feel me? It's like they're trying to break your walls down, break your home down, and throw all the burdens on top of you. You feel me? And this could have been a person you left already, or it could be a curtain person that you're with. If you left this person, you're going to get better. Everything's going to start changing. Okay? Things are going to start coming smoothly back together, but very slowly. Okay? Because if it was served already, it was served already. Okay? But this person, if you're still with this person, this person's going to keep on. They're not going to stop. Not only because of karma here from the past life or past, it's just that this person is a problem, period. Okay? Hold on a minute. What else for um, Scorpio here on their person, please? The Page of Swords on Reverse. Listen, Scorpio, whatever you're going through, you need to really, 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 like, um, listen, I feel like every power that you have, every power you were holding, every power that, you know, you put your energy to, this person has taken everything away. You know, I feel like sometimes you wake up in the morning and you're like very, very energized and you're like into your power and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and you accomplish some things, but then you wake up the next day and it's like, everything's gone. Or it's like, I don't want to do anything. I don't feel like doing shit. I don't feel like doing nothing. Fuck that. I'm going to give up. You can't do that. Because that's this person that's messing with you. Okay, and I'm not going to bring the karma no more at all. I'm not going to say it again because, you know, if you already served it, you served it. We've all served it. I've served it. Okay, so. And you know what? I'm still serving it. I ain't going to lie. I'm still serving that shit. So, you know, we all do. But I feel like this person tried or took your power away in some shape or form. And I feel like this person used you for a lot of money. Okay. It was everything about them, them, them. They broke your walls down. And when they broke your walls down, what you bumped into was chaos. Okay? And they're still trying to uh, break your walls down. The little left, they're trying to break it down. If you moved away from this person, that's the best thing you ever did. But I feel like you're trying to get somewhere. I feel like you're trying to do something to accomplish better things for your life and for your family. And it's not happening. You're stuck. What else for Scorpio here in the person, please? What else? Oh my god. The Empress in reverse and the Strength card in reverse. Listen, Scorpio. You're coming like the Empress in reverse. The Empress holds everything. The Empress, the Empress. The retrograde, please. This is like, I don't want to, I can't. Um, The Empress, here we go again. Fuck my life. The Empress holds everything. The Empress has it all. She's the queen of all queens. You were a queen at, at one some point in time. You were holding everything in your power at some point in time. You had it all built, ready. I mean, you had everything that you wanted. Okay? And this person came in and took your power away. I don't know what's happening. If this is a person, your person, your husband, your wife, your ex, a family member, a friend. But you know what? They came in and took that strength away that you had. And turned it around. Because you know what? They're trying to take your strength. They're trying to um, accomplish things that you had. I feel like there's more envy and jealousy than anything towards you. And this is so wrong. Because let me tell you something. No matter what anybody here is serving or anybody is going through. Whoever comes in to fuck somebody up. They're going to fucking get karma. They're going to get it. And they're going to serve their own injustice. You know what I'm saying? Because you just can't come in and fuck somebody up like that. And then overdo it. 
and like cause all these burdens to a person. You feel me? Like if you left this person, you're still going through it. Or if this person left you, you're still going through it. But if you're in a relationship right now with this person, listen, you need to try to remove yourself. I cannot tell you what to do. I am only, you know, here to bring out what my ancestor and my deity of Chum brings out. But I feel like you need to um, walk away because you cannot live in this energy. Like this person took your inner power away. They took your strength away. They enjoyed the power that they took away from you. You're feeling depressed. You're feeling down. I mean, you you don't feel like getting up at moments. And when you do have to do things, it's like you do it with no energy and you put up a front doing it. Oh my God. I hate these readings. It's like, But you know what? Sometimes we have to hear readings like this. And sometimes the ancestors come out and give these messages for a reason. Because sometimes, you know, we close our eyes and we just like, we put our ego in the way. We put our, you know, bad emotions in the way. We put the negativity in front of us and we don't see things that are, that serve us around us that are good. You know, and sometimes they come in to show us, look at all this, you got to fix it. You know, sometimes that's what happens, okay? So don't take it like it's not going to be fixed. I feel like it will be fixed. You just got to move forward and get back into your power, okay? And get back your energy, your power, what belongs to you. Step up to the plate and move forward. Step up to this person, if you're with this person, and take your power back. Release all those burdens that you have on top of you. Some of those burdens are not even yours to begin with. So why are you carrying burdens that are not yours in your back? Whatever is not yours, release it. Whatever is yours, fix it. But whoever's throwing burdens in your back and it's not yours, no, it's not yours. You need to release that. And take care of your burdens. Because that's going to be much more clear for you to get out of this situation. Okay? Hold on. What else for Scorpio here and their person, please? Listen, the horror font. Listen, you're worried. Listen, you're worried. You're in fear. You're in pain. You're praying. You don't know what to do at this point because of this happening to you or it happened to you. If this is not your reading, let it go and move forward. Okay? Because not every Scorpio is going to hit this. Remember, there's thousands of Scorpios out there. Okay? And this is specific. So it could be a handful, it could be probably 20,000 people, it could probably be 20, 30 people, who knows? Maybe it's just one person, who knows? But if it's not for you, do not take it. Go look at your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? And if you don't know how to look for that, go to Astrolab. You spell it together, Astrolab, and look to see what's in your chart. Go and look at that because all my readings, I do them all, okay? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. So, I mean... You're praying a lot. You're worried. You're into your head. You don't know what to do. Like, I feel like you're so into your head that sometimes you're doing things and it's like you can't even focus for a minute and then you jump back and focus. But then, like, it's like when you're doing things, you're overthinking, 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 overthinking while you're doing your things. And it's like you're losing. You're losing your, your patience. You're losing your balance. And I feel like people are noticing here. Okay? Because when you're overthinking stuff and you're doing things, that you need, like working or, you know, taking care of um, the house or whatever it is, you know, and you're overthinking, 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 <clears throat> you can't you do your things right. You know? So you need to have more faith. Okay? You need to go into your inner self, your soul. You need to go to your guides. You need to attend your guides, okay, to get these burdens off of you, your burdens. But whoever here is causing you all these burdens, whoever here is throwing everything on you, you need to fix that. Because that's not your fucking problem. That's their problem. You feel me? You can't be holding everybody's burdens on top of you, okay? 
Because it doesn't work that way. And this person is going to finish demolishing you if you don't get out. They're going to finish destroying you if you do not get out of this. If you're in a relationship here with a person and they're doing this to you, they're going to finish it off if you don't get out of this. Okay? You're very worried. You don't know what to do. You're looking for help everywhere. You've talked to everybody. I feel like you've reached out to friends. They're giving you the best advice they could. But it doesn't, you, you, you know, like you sit back and you're like, okay, you know what? They told me this, told me that, but no, that's not what I need to do. I mean, it's like, like, a, it's like a tormenting, a tormenting in the head. Okay? And I feel like you're much better than this. You're much stronger than this. Okay, because you were in your strength, but they took it away from you. You just need to know how to get that strength back. Okay, let me see. What is this person's further intentions towards Scorpio? Like, this is so fucking crazy. My God. I'm so sorry. Every time I light that shit up, it fucks me up. The hammer in reverse. This person came out like the hammer in reverse. Exactly what I was saying. Egoistic. My God. An egoistic person, a person that doesn't want to change. A person that doesn't care if they lose missed opportunities. A person is just there. I mean, this person has their ego up. Very high. And when I say their ego, I mean foolishness ego. They're not going to change. This person's not going to change at all. No change in this person. You know, it's like they don't care about anything or anyone but them themselves. Listen. They missed a good opportunity with you because you've been good to this person. You've given this person your all. You've given this person things they never had. You've helped this person financially. You've helped this person with everything, even family things. Because I feel like this person has issues with their family. And you've had issues with your family because of this person. And I feel like they never appreciated none of that. You gave it your all. And this person didn't care. Trust me when I tell you. That this person doing this to you is going to get it. No matter what you're serving, no matter what came out here, this person is going to get it. Because this person was not the person meant to come into your life to do this. Because she's telling me. Esa no era la persona que venía para pa dar la vuelta. And when they said la vuelta, it's like, um, karma, like I said. This is not the person... You have to serve that on your own with your own things by yourself, not with this person. That's what she's trying to say. It was not this person. Hold on. What is this person's further intentions towards Scorpio, please? I don't even want to know this person. I don't like these readings. Okay. I mean, this person is stuck. This person's going to get really stuck in the Five of Cups and looking for their Nine of Cups somewhere else. They're trying to be with somebody else or they're with somebody else. There could be juggling here going on. There could be cheating going on here if you're with this person. And if you left this person, they're going through hell. They're stuck right now. They don't know what to do. They're going through it. They're crying. They're depressed. They're going through the same energy as you. And they can't find nobody. It's like they try and try and try. And they can't find nobody. And this is for the ones that walked away from this person. Because of all the shit they did to you. And if you're still here, this person's going to get stuck. This person's going to go through it really bad. They're not going to find nobody like you. They never will. Because you gave so much. You gave what you didn't have to this person. Like she's telling me. Like this person came up because you came up. This person had things because you did it. 
this person had other things that you helped with. Oh my God. Helped with because you made it happen. Whether they had a business, a job, a home, whatever it was, it was all you. Wow. I don't like these readings. They got me like really. What advice does um my ancestor Minera? What advice do you want to give your true? What advice do you want to give Scorpio? Please? This is like so ridiculous. I can't. What advice, Minera? What advice do you want to give here? You have a lot of faith, Scorpio. Don't give up. Don't give up on your faith because you have a lot of faith. Listen, stop the worrying, stop the torment, uh, tormenting yourself, and get up and move. That faith that you had inside of you, that faith that's dropping, that faith that is leaving you, that faith that you that you, you had at some point, that power, that strength that you had, everything that you had, that you even put this person on a pedestal, that you made this person a person, she's telling me, get that ba fucking back and get up and do it. That's exactly how she's saying it. What advice do you have here? There it is. I'm sorry, but that's the way she said it, and that's the way I had to say it. It wasn't screaming at you. It's just that she's the one that's, you know, trying to wake you up. Or whoever walked away, listen, this person's going through it. This person, everything that they did to you is happening to them and worse. Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Do you see that? Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. I'm going to name this video that. You need to get out of this energy. Your fear is taking over you. It's an illusion. Take your strength back. I am going to name this video this. That's why I'm going to put it here. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Nature, ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the elements. What did I just tell you? Connect with your guides, connect with your inner self, connect with the earth. I mean, I didn't say earth, I said universe, I think. Listen, ground yourself, go outside, get under a tree, put your feet on the dirt, wiggle it, feel the dirt, close your eyes, meditate and say, I'm going to ground myself and go down. Reach Mother Earth and come back up. Ground yourself. Walk barefooted. If you can't walk barefooted outside because it's too cold or whatever the case may be or hot or whatever, do it in front of your door. Ground yourself or walk barefooted for a whole day. You need to ground yourself with nature. Go out in the elements. Go out in the fresh air. Go out to a forest. Go out to a river, to the ocean, whatever it is, and ask for help. In every element, there's something. It will help you. Hold on. I want my um my ancestor and Uchun to step in, you know, to your soul, to your higher self, to see what your soul is saying or what your soul wants you to do, okay? So what is the message here for Scorpio Peace from the higher self? Let me see. It says, igniting my joy, attuning to the highest good of myself, and others ignites my natural joy. So you like helping people, okay? You like helping others. So you know what? Go to your higher self, okay? And get your natural joy back. Okay? Get your natural joy back. If you like helping people do it, that's what helps you. If you need to tune into that every day, at least once a day helping someone do it, maybe that's the way you're going to learn how to help yourself. Okay? It says uniquely myself. I trust that who I am is perfect for my unique journey and my soul path. That's what your soul wants you to think. Trust yourself. 
in your journey. Trust who you are. You're perfect in your unique. Listen, you're perfect in your unique journey. That's your soul path. Basically, they're telling you go back into your power, take it, and move on. And whoever went through this and it's already out of there, this is your message. Move forward. This person's going through hell. This person's stuck. This person's not going to find nobody like you. They're not going to find nobody for a very long time. Because of all the shit they put on you. And if you're in a relationship, you need to put your strength, your power, your faith, everything back. You need to get it back. Okay? Because this is not good. It's not good at all. Like, this is... You Nobody deserves this. But, you know what? You know how to get out of it. You had power before. You have strength before. You have faith. Get it back. Get in tune to yourself and get it back. Because you know how to do it. Nobody here can tell me they don't know how to do it. Get up. If you had power before, you know how to get your power back. Get up and do it. Okay? Get up and do it. Let me see. I don't even want to bring those out because that's going to be chaos. What is this? Could be present. This could be past, present, or future. Okay. We're going to deal here. We're going to see. What does this person want to do? Okay. She took them out real quick. <clears throat> it says, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It says, I'm sorry for the way that I treated you. I was acting from old patterns. So this person doesn't only do it to you. They do it to whoever they're with, meaning they've done this before. They're not sorry. They enjoy this because if this is a pattern, it's, you don't be sorry for a pattern. When you have old patterns, it means it's not a mistake. It's you choose to be like that. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> If my ancestor, my diet are connecting with this person's soul and they're sorry for the way they treated you, I was acting from old patterns, is because old patterns is like everything they've they've done it to everybody. God only knows, maybe even family. So it's not like they're sorry. They're not sorry. They're bluffing when they say I'm sorry. They're acting, they're acting like a victim when they're not. This person not sorry. Those patterns are already true. They're chosen. They're not mistakes. I'm afraid if we get too close, you will abandon me. So, I feel like this person has abandonment issues, but it doesn't make... It doesn't have an excuse for treating you this way. And if, you know, this person is too afraid to get close to you and you will abandon them... Listen, I mean, how close can you get when you're demolishing a person? And of course, a person is going to abandon you if you get too close. Look at all the fuckery that this person has done. You feel me? Like, it doesn't make no sense. It does make sense. I know what, she, I know what it's, what's coming out here. But... You know, they might want to, like, get too close to you, tell you why they did it, why they're sorry, and you might abandon them. But you know what? They're causing you chaos. They're taking all your power away. If you're still with this person, you're not happy. You want out of there. You want out of there. Is there anything here for Scorpio, please? It says, I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. No, you didn't deserve that. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. I don't believe that this person's sorry. I believe they're sorry because they're going through it. That's what I believe. And if they're with you right now, they're not sorry. They're playing victim. And victim from what? Because you're the one that's going through it. They play victim a lot with you. They say stories. <clears throat> they make up stories. They do things and all this shit. So you can feel sorry for them. You give them chances and chances and chances. But right now you're fed up. You want to leave. 
Let's see. This could be your first, middle, last, or this person's middle, first, middle, last, or a nickname that you both go by or whoever you're thinking about right now. Let's see. Okay, there's an H, there's an I, but it's also known as an H with the spiritual dices. There's an R. There's a T. There's an N. There's an M. There's an L. You have an O. You have another I, which could be an H, which I'm going to flip one of those to get you another letter. And you have an R. Okay, so I'm going to flip one of these um, IHs to get you another letter, okay? Came back to IH. That's significant here. Let me flip this IH. You got an E. So I hope I help somebody out here. And I hope somebody wakes up and figures out that the you know the spirits are trying to um wake you up so you can move forward because you did have strength, you did have power. You do have faith, and you had it all. You need to come. You need to go and get it back. Okay. I'm gonna wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, my loves.